we've got um, power ups to supercharge your board. So this is, you know, I've been talking about power ups, but I'm going to keep talking about them because this is what everybody wants to know, right? Um, I'm, I went ahead and made this board. You can go ahead and, you know what I should have done is made a QR code where you can share this. But like, I will, um, I will, let me, let's see. I'm trying to think of an easy way I, I could share this, but basically I'm going to post this on LinkedIn. So if you want to follow me on LinkedIn, yes. I have my QR code here, Perfect. handy dandy. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, and I was going to say, connect with me and I will DM you a, a link to this. So this board, um, yeah, you, I basically collected a roundup of some of like my favorite power-ups. Um, this is lightning round, so I'm not going to demo all of them. I'm just going to mention Can them. Can I ask a question on the power-ups? Please do, we yes. We are using the blue tackle boots. We are using yeah. a lot for the main problem we had about the backup solutions. Oh, yes. Umbrella. Yes. Do you recommend any? Yes. I, you know what? I should have put that on this board. For backups, I um, recommend um, Rewind. It's backups for Trello. Okay. I recommend them. The yes, they actually have a booth here. Yes, yeah. Okay. Let me, you know what? I'm actually going to add that on here after this. Oh, interesting. I believe I believe they do that because basically, if my understanding is correct, they like take snapshots of the board at different time and save the different states. So I believe it does. If they do not, I know another solution you might be interested in, the amazing fields power up, which I have that. Yes, okay, I was gonna say they also do board backups. And literally what they do is and I I can't imagine why this wouldn't include comments, because what they do is they literally make a copy of the board and so and then they delete it like after a day so you don't have like hundreds and hundreds of copies of it but they make a copy of that board so you could go back to yesterday's where the comments were and whatnot. One of the challenges we are having with amazing fields is it did not, does not show up in the reporting, the Trello reporting. Yeah. Um, and we have uh, like we have Blue Cat reports. Yes. Blue Cat reports doesn't interact with yes. amazing fields. Yes. You want to know how to fix that? Oh, there is? Yes. So what you're going to want to do with amazing fields, you'll notice there's an option. Um, I don't, let me see if I can put on this board. You'll see there is an option for syncing with custom fields. Oh, okay. And that is where you'll be able to use it in Blue Cat Reports gotcha. because it accesses those. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a little hidden escape hatch there. Gotcha. And you can even get a Chrome extension where it will like not show both the custom fields and the amazing fields. Okay. So yeah, let me, um, I'll show you where that is in this setting, but it's like when you add a field, it's like in the bottom on the right, um, you will need to, if like you're not already paying for amazing fields, yeah. I think that is a premium feature, but that is exactly what that's gotcha. going to let you do. So yeah, see, I add a field, let's say it's a text field here. These gotcha. options over here, auto sync gotcha. with Trello custom field. And that's exactly where it's going to, when you use that, it's going to then let you access those custom. And again, it's still not going to work in Trello tables right. and stuff like that. I'm working on that. Trust me, yeah. I'm advocating that for you all. But, are you um, working on any Gantt views, better Gantt views? Um, I, are we working on any Gantt views? Native? <laughs> what? Uh, for native features? Yeah, yeah, native no, stuff. Not Gantt, not Gantt native. No, but there are definitely some power-ups yeah. that do that. I mean, yeah. I'm less familiar with those. Yeah. That's too rough. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're going to send everybody that way for that. But there definitely are some power-ups that, that will sort of do that. Um, I believe uh, Blue Cat reports, I guess they don't do it. I think they have Corella, which is like, it's under the same umbrella. I'm pretty sure they have some Gantt charts yeah, and stuff like that. that yeah, um, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I, I love chatting about this stuff. And yeah, so any any other power-ups, sure. questions? Um, not power-ups, but for Trello, yeah. can it ever be like a workflow builder tool? Workflow builder. What do you mean by that? Like, so we use the Unito uh, Butler automation, yes. and uh, we also use Zapier a lot. Yeah, but it doesn't tr necessarily translate to multiple commands together. I mean, it's a little bit clunky. Yeah, yeah. You kind of have to piece together the automation in a bunch of different right. pieces. Yeah, it's not like a proper process builder where you can drag and drop and build the process from end to end. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I mean, and I mean. I, yeah, I I don't know. Honestly, the, the best way to go about it is kind of like what you're saying. Like right. you find those solutions and like, right. and I guess that's where some people would say that at the end of the day, like they do find ways to, you know, break Trello or yeah. they've grown out of Trello. Yeah. But I see that so rarely because for the most part, 
what you're going to give up if you go to some of those other platforms is sure you'll be able to build out those processes yeah. but you lose a lot of the like customizability yeah. and the flexibility and the ease of use right. like you're going to make something sure you, you know you can go to jira or something and use something like that and it's going to work great yeah. but then you know you're going to share it with your team and they're going to feel like deer in the headlights of like yeah. whoa what's going on here so like but honestly some companies do get to a point where they need to do that and so i think yeah. that's you know that's just sort of yeah, but yeah, yeah, you're not necessarily doing anything wrong. The best thing that I can advise is try to simplify your tools as much as possible. Um, hello. Yeah, well, no, come on in, join the party. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so um, so yeah, so that's what, like try to simplify as much as possible. But other than that, like yeah, that's that's kind of where it's at. Yeah, yeah. What what are you what are you using Trello for? Like, tell me more about like your role and stuff. Uh, I have the project management office at LG. Oh, cool. Okay. So Whoa, Trello that's super cool. As a portfolio project program. So yeah. It's a single source of food for all our projects. Yes. Okay. So, um, I mean, we do have some challenges. For the most part, it works for us. Yeah. So we have juiced it up with a lot of reporting. Reporting was a challenge. For right. Us, especially at the C level. Yeah. But do that. Yes. To a certain extent. Yes, you, you can see that I, I listed on here. That is that is yeah. one of my, my favorite for reporting. We have yeah. Drive Flacker. Um, Flacker is good. Resource capacity. Uh, yes. Yes. Challenges. I recommend that for more of the Flacker is more for like the project management planning aspects, whereas like Blue Cat is like super simple That's for right. reports. We also tried the screen, screen pool. pool. It didn't work for us. And okay. Blue Cat was better for us in yeah. terms of the. Um, the report which was given to yeah. the C-suite because Springfield was much more uh, limited in the, in the capacity of visualization is how yeah. I put it. Okay, yeah. But yeah. Uh, all of the products that you we use, the bulk actions, Okay. Um, yeah. Well, actions is that's amazing. Oh my God, that makes me so happy to yeah. hear that. Like my list of favorites yeah, is also, no, and that's why I recommend it because so many of the people that I talk to, these right. just solve the use cases, like yeah. the bulk actions. Like, I'm gonna check out Rewind. Uh, based on yes. The yes. I'm gonna add that on here too. But yes, Rewind is a good I'm one for backups. So if you want to make feature improvements, if you go to Trello.com slash contact, okay. like if you're like, I have a feature request. If you go on here, it's going to okay. slowly load. You can contact support. And when you go to what can we help with, you could say, um, do, do, do. hang on, I think it's using Trello. Yeah, using Trello and feature request. Yeah, and so that's what you can say in there. Um, and yeah, there's also in the Atlassian community, a lot of people will go here to community. Are, are you part of the community? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, um, this is like my home away from home. I spend so much time over here. Feel free to post in here. And I don't know whether we are part of the community or not. How do I double check that? So if you go, you should be able to go to this URL. I'm going to make a note and send it to you. In, okay. in, I'm going to make a note right now so I know to send to you in um, when, when I email you the links here. But um, okay. uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll send you instructions how to join. But um, basically, you'll go to this URL and you can just, you'll be able to sign up over there. Um, and then, yeah, it's basically a forum. So you can just, you know, connect over here, post questions. You'll get to know folks in here. Um, this is my other Trello homie. He is regretfully not here, but he is obsessed. He loves answering questions in here. Um, Katie also, she works at Trello. Um, Stay is here. He's somewhere around here. But yeah, basically, you can post questions. But this is also a good way to say, like, you know, how do I do this or that in, in Trello? And we love to come in there and like answer questions and say say how you can do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, cool.